Hi, this is Dr. Jim, back with you today on segment four of my fetal heart monitoring series to better help mom, dad, and baby understand is why do we uh, do fetal uh, heart monitoring during labor and delivery. It's all about a healthy, happy baby, and we use fetal monitoring to help guide us in this journey, a 12-hour, 16-hour journey uh, during labor and delivery. So it's a technology that's been around a long time. We understand it pretty well, and it can often be beneficial. So today, I'm talking about, uh, uh, I'm talking about decelerations. So I've, I've gone through the whole business of contractions, talked about the fetal heart rate, the normal range of 110 to 160. Today it's about decelerations. What happens when the baby's heart rate falls below that 110 to 160 range? Um, decelerations come in, uh, come in several varieties. There's early deceleration, there's a variable deceleration, there are late decelerations, and there are late prolonged decelerations, and each of them have a certain meaning. So for example, if you look in the uh, first uh, screenshot, this is a, a screenshot of a video, uh, or correction, of a fetal heart monitor strip showing, uh, showing a, a, an early deceleration. You'll notice in the uh, top graph, you'll see a dip go down and then a dip go down and a dip go down. And if you look below at the bottom segment of the graph, simultaneous with that dip going down, you'll see uh, the uterus contracting and it goes along and the uterus contracts and the baby's heart rate dips down. And so you can see how that happens sequential. That's early deceleration. Usually it doesn't mean anything, oh my gosh. In fact, it generally means head compression. And boy, believe me, that's normal during labor and delivery. That uterus squeezing down and uh, the push of the baby through the birth canal, that's head compression. And that's what generally is what an early deceleration is all about. But the heart rate still goes down. Baleo uh, often goes down uh, close to the 110 or just a little bit below that. In the second strip that you're looking at, um, this is, a, this is a, called a variable deceleration. And here again, you'll see the baby's heart rate going along and then a sudden dip and a return back to the baseline and a sudden dip and a return back to the baseline. This is a variable deceleration and note in the bottom segment with the uterine contraction that the uh, variable deceleration occurs with the uterine contraction, with the uterine contraction. The sharp spike, this is a variable deceleration. Variable decelerations usually have to do with umbilical cord compression. And it's something that we really try to modify. We don't like the umbilical cord being compressed because that's the baby's blood flow, for gosh sakes. So we'll uh, maneuver the mom, have her change positions, uh, do some kinds of things to try to make those variable, uh, those variable uh, decelerations go on the way. In the third screenshot, now we're talking about a late uh, deceleration. And in a late deceleration, if you notice this one, the baby's heart rate is going along and all of a sudden it dips way down into the uh, as low as 60 and then it returns back up and um, and then it, uh, then it looks like things recover pretty nicely and you'll also notice in that strip that the uterus contracts and the deceleration occurs after the uterine contraction it's almost like the deceleration is sliding down the uh, downward slope of the uterine contraction. So this is a late deceleration and that uh, often suggests that the baby is uh, distressed. And if you couple that with uh, things like meconium, uh, vaginal bleeding, uh, perhaps there's not progression of labor, or the, uh, maybe the contractions are really intense and need to be slowed down, or they're too frequent, and the baby is distressed because of that, his heart rate is saying, hey you guys, kind of watch out for me, take it easy, I, I need, uh, I need uh, uh, some recovery here. In the fourth and final screenshot, uh, this is a late prolonged deceleration. And this is, this is something that makes everybody on labor and delivery very, very nervous. Uterus contracts in the bottom segment, and after that, you see the, the late deceleration happen. But it not only happens for a minute or so, it keeps going for a prolonged, prolonged period of time. 
Simultaneous with this one, you'll note that the uh, uterine contractions are very strong, so that may be uh, what the case is, and, and perhaps correcting this is just a matter of turning down the Pitocin, uh, if indeed there's even Pitocin on. But, but this uh, late prolonged decelerations are, not a, are, are absolutely not a good thing. I also want to go back to that third screenshot that I showed you, uh, where there was uh, the uh, late deceleration, but also notice something else really important here. The uterine contraction is greater than 60 seconds. We like the uterine contractions to be 45 to 60 seconds, and you can see in this one that it's much longer than that. So the uterus is misbehaving here, as it were, and the baby uh, is responding to it in, in a negative kind of way. So uh, we're now concerned that maybe we're not going to have a healthy, happy baby, Remember, that's our goal. My goal is a healthy, happy you. And I'll see you next time on what we do when we have decelerations that are of concern. In the meantime, be healthy, be happy. Subscribe to Be Healthy, Be Happy University. This is Dr. Jim.